Suzanne song. Hey, it's Dan Schinder here on Drum Talk TV at the NAMM Show 2016 with probably the most famous wedding drummer ever, Suzanne Morissette. How are you? Hi, Dan. Very good. Nice to finally meet you. Yeah, you too. We we met by way of this video that you're seeing now of Suzanne playing at her own wedding in a band with her husband in her wedding dress. And uh, I honestly, I don't remember. Somehow we got in touch through that video. Lori, yeah, through Lori, the other half of Drum Talk TV. And we had talked uh, last year about getting together at the NAMM show, our schedules just didn't match, and here we are. And what people may not know, who know you from that video, is that you're a music educator. I am, yes. I teach at the Music Academy at Saddleback, and uh, I also teach privately, and I really love it. I just love to see the kids, like when that light comes on in their face, yeah. you know? It's, it's, um, I appreciate that so much. It reminds me when I started, you know, and I had great teachers along the way um, that always made me feel the same way, so I'm like, okay, I think I can do that too, you know, and it's just kind of, it really, it really is fun. I enjoy it. And that's, that's Saddleback, California, by the way, in Southern California. And what ages do you teach? Oh, anywhere from, uh, I think my youngest drummer was like eight, seven or eight when he started. And you know, and he kept with it. And because it's difficult at first, I like, I always like to start them the right way. Unfortunately, I don't just put, you know, because you can do that now on, you know, go on the internet and they can learn on their own. But I really try to start them the right way with proper technique and because that's so important to me because down the line, they will need that to access you know the next level and the next level instead of having to backpedal and go oh now I need to practice technique I, I like to start them with that on the practice pad. Uh, that's cool that kind of answers my next question but I'll ask you to sort of maybe elaborate or dig a little deeper in that I think if you get 10 music educators together and we'll say 10 drumming educators and you ask them all the following question I think you'll get different answers because it everyone's got different perspective and what works for one may not be the best thing that works for another educator what advice would you have for other educators of the best thing that has worked for you in working with students and if there's a different answer for different age ranges that's fine um, so you mean what has worked for me when I started? Uh, drumline. Yeah. Did a lot of drumline, yeah. Um, started, um, I actually started on the trumpet in the marching band. And uh, and then I got, after a while, I was like, okay, I want to do something else. And and had the chance to be connected to a great, uh, the uh, instructor in the marching band. And, and that's really how I started to play percussion. And doing the drumline really helped me uh, develop skills on the drum set you know what about the first steps as an educator that's really what I meant the oh, first steps educator. yeah that really what is the magic secret sauce that works for you in working with your different students um, kind of like the same way starting with the technique and and just get them to do through the rudiments single stroke roll double stroke roll all the paradiddles and all that stuff to me is, is very important and it, it's worked really the ones who have stuck with me with this yeah. because of course with they're really young it's hard for them because they want to play the whole kit yeah. and that's why I like to start them on the pad so it makes them focus but it's when my students that have been with me like five or six years I see them grow now like there's no tomorrow I'm like they're playing songs that are very challenging yeah. and uh, so that's what works best for me and also teaching them the reading because you know a lot of people go well you don't need to read music to be a drummer right but right. it's like of course you don't need you don't need to be to read music for any instrument as a matter of fact right but you know I think when you pay for lessons 
You need, I mean, at this point, I think it's most important to give them a broad knowledge of music. Yeah. And then if they learn another instrument, they already have the rhythm right. in and store, it, you know. Yeah, and it certainly helps to learn how to read music because it gives you a better understanding of what's happening and what, what the cause and effect is and all of that. And it helps you understand song structure, composition, you know, all those things, dynamics even. Absolutely. That's to me that's very important. And and to be honest with you, there's not one student that have come to me and say, Oh no, I don't want to read music. Oh, you that's know? Good. They've always been open to it and I talk to the parents that when they're young and I say, you know, that's really um, you know, if, trust me on this, yeah. because then if they go to another instrument, to guitar or to piano, then they already have that knowledge. Right. So, yeah, I, it, that's worked for me. You know? Yeah, and it's kind of, that's good to hear, because it's kind of like equating it to speaking a language. You can learn a language by ear, but if you also learn how to read it and write it, your horizons are so much broader. It's certainly the same thing with music. Yeah, and you un understand the language, because yeah. music's a language, and if you can talk to other musicians, and you go, hey, this section, we're going to 16th note feel, or we're going to we just stay with 8th notes. Right. I mean, it sounds very elementary, but they need to have that basic knowledge, at least. You know, like if they go, okay, I want to learn rhythm, I don't really want to read charts. Okay, I'll give them that, you know, so we just kind of meet in between if that happens. And But so far, so good. That's great. Yeah. I got to ask you about the wedding video again. Oh. And, and for those of you who only first saw it for the first time in the clip in the beginning, of this interview on Facebook search Suzanne Morissette Drum Talk TV and you'll see the post. We recently posted it again and a guy commented something that made me laugh so hard. He said I bet it, her husband is saying oh here she goes again. <laughs> but he's in the band but maybe he still says that. I don't know because they say that about all of us drummers that get, are given some room to just take off and do a solo but talk about how'd that come about? Was it planned or did they say come Come on, come up and play. I'm so glad you're asking that question because as I read the comments, you know, of the video that, that you posted as well, um, I didn't even know it was on until there was about 5,000 hits on it. And I was just, I happened to like, I was looking for some credits and then I Googled my name and all of a sudden I'm like, this is me. It's, this looks like me anyway. And I open it and the guy that did the video at our wedding and mentioned to me, it's like, oh, we have to talk. We have to post this, you know. But then a couple years went by and eventually he just kind of posted it. And I didn't know about it. He didn't let me know. And it was like, it was there. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And I already, and then I started seeing the views going up and I'm like, what do you do with this? <laughs> you know? It's like, it was such an impromptu moment at our wedding. And we're musician so my husband's like come on let's go sit in you know and and we had a great band your uh, husband plays trumpet huh your husband keyboards. plays He's keyboards the one who sings and of oh, course yeah. we had and my husband's like okay what are we gonna play um okay unchain my heart you know and it's like and all these bows too like oh great song for a wedding right <laughs> so if only we would have known you know yeah. we'd have probably done a, a wedding type song but you, you, you know, know we're well, as much fun. when we posted it the first time hey i brought these for you what is that? That's my gloves that I wear for, for the day. Really? Oh, that's so funny. There you go. I'm sorry. I right from the video. Pull them out. Right from the video. <laughs> <laughs> the first... No, it's okay. The first time we posted it, it, I think it reached 12 million views in the first month. And I think it's I think it's up to like 34 million or something. We've posted it. This is the third time just the other day, but the first time I think is up to like 34 million, which was a little over a year ago maybe. Wow, Crazy. that's incredible. Yeah. And we're followed by people in over 100 countries. So some people have seen a glimpse of your wedding. You you've really you've really, you know, started a great thing. And and I Thank see you. all the videos I've seen posted and you know, it's just so eye-opening and you say, "Oh my gosh, from all these, you know, like even the wheel what was the music, the music? I call it I call it the live music wheel it's this video from Barcelona these three musicians on a big wheel oh called the Factoria <laughs> Circular and there's 
there's two guys on the sides pedaling it, and I have another video of them in a different country, I don't remember, but that thing, yeah, that's something I saw and it went, eh, okay, I'll post that. And it just went so viral so quick, I'm like, wow, I couldn't believe it. Who thinks about that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I, I'm, you know, a fan of the same community that we all belong to in the world of drumming, and I get such a kick out of finding these videos or having them sent in through our website from different cultures and and just the different styles of music and it the thing that always gets me is it's unbelievable how much talent is out there whether it's a rock band in Serbia or whether it's a kid literally in the jungles of Brazil playing hubcats and pots and pans and buckets or just anything there's so much talent out there that it's important to open your mind to that and not just stick with the most popular musicians you know from the UK Europe and North America yeah they're important they have their place we can all enjoy their music and learn from them but when you see all this other stuff no one has to be known as a class A musician to offer something for us to all learn from is my my view of it all. Yeah, yeah. I think there's great talent everywhere and you know and of course we always love to you know like the Dave Weckl, I think you shared that video too. Yeah. And all these great United States or I mean, you know, I'm I'm about to go in um, the drum fest, the Montreal drum fest is gonna be in oh, Quebec yeah. City. Yeah, which is where you're from, right? Yes, it's in my backyard this time and I told uh, Ralph Angelilo, I said, Okay, I'm coming. I've, I've got to come see my friends. Are you playing at it? I'm not playing at it, but I want to be there. This this is kind of a first there, you know, and but I have played there. I have played when it was in Montreal. Right. So, but um, just, there's great, there's so much to see and, and, you know, that somebody like you, you know, takes it on of like, I'm going to share the great talent in the world. I think you're doing a great job at it oh, and thank, thank you. you for your support. It's, oh, sure. thank you know, you. And it's, it's the best drum lessons I think I've ever had since my first teacher when I was a little kid. Just watching all these videos of all these players with so many different styles and techniques and talents. And, you know, some don't have great gear, but they're just amazing players. I've been playing almost 46 years, and it makes me want to go jump on my drums and get better. Absolutely. That's the point, is getting better. It's an art form. Right. It's like painting, you know? Yeah. It's like you have you have to keep with it. it it's a tough business right yeah. now, but you have to keep with it and yeah. keep learning and keep getting better. And it's great. I love it. Great. I'm blessed. Thanks so much for taking time to meet with us. Really appreciate it. And thank you all so much for joining Suzanne and myself here at the NAMM Show 2016 on DrumTalkTV.com. Thanks.